getting a, an email back from a client being like overall thoughts, like meeting minutes. Could we explore more ideas that like leverage the word sack? <laughs> Case of sack juice. Hi, I'm Helene Pammon. I'm the head of personal care at Santa Fe Consumer Healthcare. I'm Sandy Greenberg, the co-founder of Terry and Sandy. I'm Rebecca Baldwin. I'm a copywriter at Terry and Sandy. My name is Nolet Sherblood and I am a director. Could you give us a little bit of a history on the brand itself. Gold Bond has been in the business of caring for skin since 1908. For decades, it had pr primarily been a regional brand. It came to um, the Santa Fe family through an acquisition of Chatham Consumer Healthcare in the mid 90s in 1996. More recent years, it had started to lose some relevancy, which very much accelerated during um, the, the pandemic quarantine. What we wanted was um, to make sure that we came back in a really strong way. And we wanted to be, you know, more than just known as Shaq's brand or your grandfather's brand, but something that was really relevant and spoke to younger consumers. And we saw in the social landscape and a lot of the conversation about care under there that you can have a lot of fun and lean in. And that's something that we wanted to do with this campaign. When we won the business, the main assignment was actually for gold bond lotions, not gold bond powders. So we did a big campaign for lotions that's called Champion Your Skin, that's been really effective. Our most recent assignment for powders came about because the clients came to us and said, we need to grow the category. We need to make today's men understand that powder plays a role in their grooming. They were neglecting their nethers is what I would say. Yeah. Uh, uh. The first line of the brief was damp, stanky feet and groin wetness, AKA swamp ass slash swamp crotch, odor and itch can be a real bitch. So that was the first line of like the professional briefing document. <laughs> so via Zoom, my partner and I just looked at each other and we're like, it's on. When we presented the campaign, we had our two 15s going on TV, which were basketball and cheesemonger. And then we had this other piece called euphemisms, which was just an incredible long shot. Foggy, bearded, back pipes. Ugh. The writer and art director were uh, bantering back and forth on their phones. So like Rebecca would send Christian something that said like moist marbles and he'd write back. Moist money maker. And she'd write back. Between the thigh, slip and slide. And then he'd write back. Two wet mice in a warm sock. This idea of like two guys going back and forth, we thought that it was so unlikely that any client would ever let us make it. We thought they'd literally look at us like we were out of our minds, but they didn't. They thought it was really funny. And then Helene showed it to her son, I think, who's 16 or 17, and he thought it was really funny. And then ran it by my husband. I think everybody did that as well, talking to their their family and friends. And we knew, you know, we had something here because it was it was going to connect. What was your reaction when you first heard the idea for this campaign? To be really honest, my first reaction was, is this a product? Uh, because we don't have it where I'm from. The really funny thing was, uh, when I received the boards, uh, I was shooting in Bulgaria on a back lot. And I was sort of walking every day through this Roman set and this medieval set. I was sort of thinking like, yeah, maybe we could come here <laughs> and, and use all these beautiful places that we have available to us. And we could sort of tailor the story to a sort of larger historical perspective. When we got the director's treatment, it was like the most brilliant build I have ever seen for him to say, oh, well, Sweaty balls have been a problem since the dawn of time. And I happen to know of this back lot where we can have seven different sets and a reasonable budget. And we can have these two men travel through multiple historical eras talking about their sweaty balls. I was a little worried because it was very ambitious. We're gonna have these guys walk through like six different time zones, the clothes that are required, the art direction. How are we gonna pull this off on this like low budget thing? but he did it. And um, that's what makes him one of the best directors we've ever worked with. Can you tell me a little bit about what shooting was like? One thing that has been top of mind as, you know, kind of like the, the client side is 
making sure that we get as much efficiency and, and productivity out of our production shoot. So we bundled production. We did two campaigns for the same sort of client. There was Gold Bond and then there was Asper Cream. I don't know if you've seen the campaign for Asper Cream, but it's Kick Pain in the Asper Cream. And it's very cinematic, very Hollywood. And Nale brought an incredible filmic look to both of these projects that are extremely different from each other. If you look at the two ads, you could see the Asper Cream ad has the Coliseum and we kind of open on our euphemism spots in that same Coliseum. Because I was already there, I got to help out on the shoot day, which was great because I got like this exposure to two different campaigns and productions, like kind of for the price of one. It didn't feel as impacted by the pandemic as other shoots I've done because I was there, both creative directors were there and the director was there. But the account team, the client and my partner were all remote. So we had like this video village where we would keep having to like run back and forth to communicate with the client. And I wanted to be communicating with Christian and make sure his like thoughts were being incorporated. Having the creatives on set with me and really collaborating with them on, you know, like lines, writing alternative lines and like really trying to find the right mix was essential to all of the films. Roughly how many euphemisms for sweaty balls do you think you had written down? The way we were doing it was Google Slides, three columns of like point size eight font. And we had at least 10 pages of those lists. I just had a laptop and we were all like popcorning these lines and I just wrote them all down and we had pages and pages and some were so inappropriate and like some made no sense at all, but it was just really fun. Rebecca did most of the writing and Rebecca had most of the worst euphemisms you could ever imagine. I think other people had really inappropriate ones too. I don't think it was just me. <laughs> My favorite line of the whole spot is Houston, we found water on these planets which I did not write, that was Christian. He had the best line in my in my opinion. Houston, we found water on these planets. Oh. What's it been like to watch the response to the ad? I haven't met anyone that doesn't love these spots. They tread a delicate balance between being rude and crude and being funny. People think it's funny and I'm glad people think it's funny and not disgusting. I, I'm sure some people think it's disgusting, but I'm glad the overall response has been laughter instead of Horror. From a company's perspective, when you, you know, rally like your your folks working in the plants, your your team, they're like kind of proud, and a lot of our internal employees, along with their friends and family, would reach out to them about you know seeing the spot and having a good laugh. <laughs>